boys and girls, Alex here. I made a few modifications to my butcher paper holder, um, so this became version 3. However, rather than make another video like I did of the SketchUp animation like I did in version 2, I thought I'd actually get in here and show you what the differences are. What I've actually done is added this arm to captivate the spindle just in case it had a tendency to fall out. I don't think it will, but I thought, well, I'm on a roll. I might as well get in there and do it. So here we are. Where's the spindle? Let's see. The way I tested it to see how this would go is I bought that on. I turned gu guidelines on because that way I can anchor this movement protractor on this, um, the actual pivot point of that arm and I swung it down through here around the spindle to make sure it cleared and that was it. Whether I need it or not I don't know but we shall see. Another advantage, let's get rid of those guidelines. Another change I made was to the cutter. Well, because of that, I had to move the cutter arms, braces, these ones, from in there, out, the, sorry, where were they? They were out on that side, back to, onto the inside. But what this also permitted me to do is put in this extra brace because previously it was only this cutting edge that braced the whole unit together. This will give it more stability. Whether it will work or not, I don't know. Then what I did was I reduced the paper to where I was virtually running out. So I minimized the size of the roll. And then using that same principle of Hang on, turn on the guidelines. Q4, and again, hopefully this will, if I do x-ray, I should get that. There it is. I actually swung that around to make sure it finished up on the right spot. Now, whether this will work or not, I've got no idea, because I haven't made the jig as yet. And I'll probably only do the basic sides to start off with. However, if I find that I need to brace that spindle and the roll of paper, that'll do. The other thing I have done, which I probably haven't explained, as I said, that was a cutting arm, um, is that of mounting it with French cleats. So hopefully, pardon me, Hopefully I can mount it on a wall, on the end of a bench, against uh, a workbench, uh, assembly bench, or whatever. But by having cleats, I can quite easily pick it up and just move it without having to play around with hardware. Hope it all makes sense, and I actually hope it'll work. Catch you later, and keep safe.